Hello friends, in this lecture I will discuss the single phase series motor and this single phase series motor is also known as universal motor. So uh, this universal motor has very specific and important role. We have seen it in many places. This motor has very specific and significant characteristics. So that part will be discussed in this lecture. It's structure, it's construction, it's operation, it's application. So all will be covered in this lecture. As we know that this uh, universal motor, which is also known as single phase series motor, it is a commutator type motor and it is a series motor and the polarity of the line in terminal of DC series motor, if reversed in this case, and this motor will continue to run in the same direction. This is the property of this motor. It is also expected that a DC series motor would operate on alternate current. It is expected. So this machine is operating on both AC as well as on DC. The direction of the torque which is developed in this uh, DC series motor it is determined by polarity and the direction of the current through the armature winding. So this is the parameter to determine the torque development and the direction of the torque. This motor that can be that can also be utilized on AC as well as on DC and this motor basically works on AC as well as on DC. That's why it is known as universal motor. This is the reason behind it is known as universal motor which can operate on AC as well as on DC. Let us consider for discussing the operation that motor is connected across a single phase AC supply. When it is connected with single phase AC supply, the same current flows through the field winding and as well as on the armature winding. And when the AC current reverses from positive to negative or from negative to positive, so this is the condition that will face by that machine during the operation. So this will simultaneously affect the field flux as polarity as well as the current direction which is flowing through the armature. So we can say that the direction of developed torque will remain positive and the rotation will continue in the same direction. So we can conclude while uh, discussing the operation. If DC series motor is connected across a single phase AC supply, the current flows through the field winding and the armature. It follows the AC reversal from positive to negative and negative to positive and vice versa. And the current direction and flux polarity, they all will uh, work in such a way the direction of developed torque will remain positive and the machine rotation will continue in the same direction. As we have seen the direction of developed torque will always be in a same direction and therefore the rotation will be in the same direction. So we can say from this uh, waveform which is on the screen the nature of the torque that will be also pulsating and frequency will be twice that of the frequency. So the universal motor will work on both cases in case of AC as well as in, in case of DC. So you can see that the direction of the torque will remain in, it, in a single direction. So unidirectional torque will be obtained either using AC supply or using DC supply. So field and armature uh, arrangement and the butterfly field produced will be in such a manner that it will give a unidirectional torque. So <coughs> overall discussion um, from the overall discussion it can be concluded that this machine has some uh, drawbacks also. So because uh, this machine is uh, designed for DC operation but we also draw, uh, operate this machine for AC supply so there are certain drawbacks while uh, we are having the operation on AC. 
so efficiency is low because of the stresses as well as ed current losses and uh, power factor is also low uh, the reason behind the low uh, low power factor is large reactance of the field and the armature winding so the sparking at the brushes is also exp uh, is high in this is the drawback of this dc uh, this universal motor so there are uh, certain modification which are uh, done to come over this uh, drawbacks so these drawbacks and difficulties uh, can be uh, satisfactorily um, addressed uh, by making certain alterations certain uh, changes while operating on ac the field core is constructed of material having low stresses loss this is the one requirement so it is laminated to reduce ad current loss so, so what happens the ad current loss is reduced so lamination will reduce the overall uh, ad current loss the field winding is <coughs> provided with small number of turns and uh, the field poles area is increased so the purpose of doing that is the flux density is reduced so this reduces the iron loss and the reactive voltage drops so the loss component goes down number of armature conductor is also increased uh, why it is done it is done to get the required torque with the low flux so value of flux is low so to get a required torque the number of armature conductors are increased this is the another modification which is done and other thing is that in order to reduce the effect of armature reaction so for this improve um, another thing is that the competition is also improved and uh, this is reduced by redu uh, this improvement is done by reducing the armature reactance overall compass uh, for this a compensating binding is utilized so what happens in overall it reduces the effect of armature reaction this part can be seen here uh, series motor with uh, con uh, which is having compensating binding which is shown in the diagram you can see the main field winding is there and armature is there so what is compensating winding is so this is electrical circuitry and this is the structure we can see compensating windings are there com uh, completed type rotor is there and field windings are there so the universal motor with conductively compensated winding structure is shown in the diagram so another thing is that we can also have uh, inductively compensated bindings so the, uh, how we get the inductively compensated binding uh, this can be uh, obtained by uh, can be obtained by short circuited on itself so the compensating bindings may be short circuited on itself in which case the motor is said to be inductively compensated this is the inductively compensated binding structure so main winding is there and armature uh, uh, as shown earlier and compensating winding is connected here so these are the two uh, topologies which we have discussed so we can say that uh, armature of universal motor is of the same construction as ordinary series motor so basically it is a series motor type uh, structure there to minimize the commutation problem uh, high resistance brushes with increased brushes area are used so the application this application will minimize the computation problem and for reduction of ad current losses stator core and yoke are laminated so lamination is done and uh, this machine is generally operated at uh, lower flux density with very short air gaps and this uh, another thing is that this motor is not having very high cost it is uh, cheaper motor it has low cost and this is used for the low power rating it is not utilized for the power greater than 750 watt so we can discuss the characteristics of this universal motor also so the characteristics of universal motors are much similar to that of dc series motor but there is a difference that dc uh, series motor develops less torque when operated from an ac supply and when working from an equivalent dc supply so if we compare that so torque value is less and the direction of rotation can also be changed by interchanging the connections to the field with respect to the armature as in the dc series motor what we do 
for controlling the speed the universal motor is best obtained by solid state devices so so electronic converters are most preferred and uh, the speed of this motor is not limited as in case of conventional motor so we can have a highest uh, very high speed like uh, a speed up to 20000 rpms uh, which is much more higher as we compare for synchronous speed of 3000 rpm for 50 hertz and they are mostly suitable for regulating high speeds so these um, have application in that field also so overall we have discussed the uh, structure of this machine its operation of the machine construction of the machine and we have discussed the characteristics also the features also so now on the basis of this uh, structure construction features and uh, its a uh, characteristics uh, there are certain applications on which this machine is widely utilized and we can say that uh, how we can get a high speed operation as well as the speed control is also better in this machine so number of applications are there so most common applications are uh, portable drill machines so universal motor are mostly used in drill machines which we have seen in many places and uh, this is also this universal motor is also utilized in hair dryers this machine is also used in mixer grinder which is uh, domestic uh, be used in uh, uh, home uh, in home appliances this machine is also also utilized this machine is also utilized in uh, table fence which we can see and uh, apart from these applications this machine is also used in blowers polishers we, we have seen many in many offices polisher, polishers are also there and this is also having wider application in kitchen appliances so these are the number of applications in which this machine is utilized and we have most of the application we have seen so this is all about the universal motor is uh, it's uh, construction its introduction its uh, characteristics its operation and its application thank you thanks a lot